Billions of Christians around the world celebrated Easter here in Baltimore, the message of rebirth and renewal. Deborah brought a lot of reports from the Cathedral of Mary, our Queen. The joyous songs of Easter morning rang worldwide and across the Baltimore area. Inside the Cathedral of Mary, our Queen, hundreds of Catholics came together in prayer. And it's nice to be part of like the larger community within the church. And it's an important day, not just for um, candy, <laughs> but to kind of start the week off right with some time for like quiet and reflection. Putting aside the peeps, baskets, and egg hunts, the holiday is one of the holiest for more than 2 billion Christians worldwide. Celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ three days after he was crucified and died. Amen, church. You may be Dr. Seated. Hugh Bear is senior pastor of Christian Life Church in Locker. The resurrection speaks to the fact that people are able to get up from whatever situation or circumstance they find themselves in. At the Vatican, Pope Francis led Easter Mass to a crowd of almost 70,000, asking for peace in conflicted areas such as Sri Lanka, where hundreds were killed in Easter Day bombings. Dear brothers and sisters, I heard with sadness the news of the horrendous attacks which on this very day, Easter Sunday, have brought mourning and pain to some churches and other places in Sri Lanka. I would like to express my heartfelt closeness to the Christian community. Despite tragedy, it's a day of hope for many and a day to teach younger Christians. Um, I think it's important just so they are experiencing it, and even if they're not listening or crying, it's important for them to just be there. Sharing a message of faith, renewal, and rebirth around the world. Pope Francis delivered a shorter message online, posting on Twitter, quote, The resurrection of Christ is the true hope of the world. Happy Easter. I'm Devin Bartolotta reporting for WJZ.